Yes, it's breakfast time in the A-liner. Ugh. It was a stormy night last night in the A-liner. And we had a pretty good thunderstorm come through. Which the problem with the A-liner, one of the little problems, is that these great big windows in the front and the back on mine, not everybody has those, but it's like a drum and the uh, large drops coming off the clouds last night were just like being inside a, a major drum and we got pretty well woken up for two or three hours while the rain came through. The makeup department hasn't come through yet, so we're going to stay out of the camera just yet. But uh, you can see the uh, the one who thinks he owns the bed here got most of the bed. <laughs> the little guy and the big guy is crunched over in the corner there. <laughs> but uh, it looks like the sun might come out. We got some sunshine here peering through the windows. We are in a place that's just us. There's nobody anywhere around us. Although it's Monday and I hear logging trucks going by, but because it's just us, we have all the windows open all the time, which is really nice. I mean, it gives you a, a complete view of everything and a, a good A-liner has a lot of windows. But um, the sun's coming up, it's eight o'clock. The boys actually got up at 6 as usual, but um, I'm just getting up. <laughs> I put them out and let them goof off for a while outside, and then they wanted to come back in and go back to bed. So we're just getting breakfast, 8 o'clock. <sighs> so let me get dressed and get my morning food going, and uh, we'll come back. Well, the makeup department's been here, and I don't think it's helped much at all. We have had breakfast. We decided rather than cooking our regular breakfast of uh, pancakes or French toast, we'd just go with a uh, emergency Pop-Tart breakfast. Um, so we're just having Pop-Tarts and uh, tea, which is kind of almost a normal breakfast for me. As a note on the, the bugs in the Adirondacks, this is like peak season for bugs and there really were not too many um, bothered by a few black flies yesterday not not enough to worry about it and uh, mosquitoes we sat out in a chair last night and, and heard two or three of them but didn't I don't think we got bit maybe we did who knows but um, the punkies of course they're the no see as they call them uh, they're all over all the time and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of them last night getting getting into the sleeping bag. Once I was in the sleeping bag, I was safe, but um, uh oh, mosquito, dead mosquito. We're going to take a little walk down the wet trail. This is my cow looking like a dog Caesar who likes to eat grass. Wanna go for a hike? Let's go then. We'll go down to the pond and see if there's anything down there. Stop eating grass you idiot. I don't know if you can hear that but Apparently, somebody is practicing for 4th of July acrobatics. I don't know, I love planes, but I'm torn to be in a beautiful place like this with just the sounds of nature having to listen to that. Wildlife sign, in case you didn't know. 
you come to the edge of a water body like this and sometimes you see these holes and what these usually are is turtle nests and there's one there one up over there and sometimes there are turtle nests that have been dug up by foxes and coyotes or skunks now last night it rained pretty good for quite a long time it really pelted a lot of water down but you notice this stream doesn't look any different than it did yesterday so it's not a big place to worry about flash flooding no matter how hard it rains it's one of the things I like about the Adirondacks it's it's there's no mud in the stream you know there's there is no mud in the Adirondacks it's peaty loam and sand. Caesar wants to go swimming. He's asking permission. Well, I don't think I'm going to give it to him. He's sneaking up on Caesar. I think he thinks my mat is a mate. We are just sitting here watching the bugs. <laughs> There's not a lot of wildlife at the moment. But um, we're taking a little rest after our hike. We hiked a couple miles, I guess. And Caesar's pretty tired. We didn't get too much. We didn't get too much sleep. We got probably enough, but we didn't get too much sleep. And we find, I find, that we have a lot of time. <laughs> We don't cook much, we don't eat much, um, so if you don't have cooking and cleaning, you have a lot of time, especially when you get up at 6 o'clock, and the temperature is just perfect. It's like, it's about 65, maybe 70 by now. It's about, uh, I think it's 1030, and we have been listening to some dogs, um, chasing something. They must have chased it about a mile by now. weekday you might meet one of those on the road <laughs> I guess they're done for the day taking all the big equipment home glad to see I'm not in their way we're gonna give it another second just to see if anybody else comes along in the middle of absolutely nowhere, there is this handicap accessible fishing access site. I don't know how anybody could get in here without serious four-wheel drive. The road's in pretty bad shape right at the moment. Sand pond, so we'll go down and um, we'll check it out. But the boys need a rest. We've been bumping around on the root, dirt road and it's been... Uh, it's been trying for them. They try to take a nap, but they just get bumped around in the back of the car. It's never fun to be in the back of the bus. But we did our little hike this morning, and now they're kind of rested up from a nap. And this is a this is an awful nice trail. I mean, I don't know. It's it's so slippery. The wood is very slippery from being in the shade in the rain bridges boardwalks and it's not a straight line i don't know why they couldn't make it a straight line <laughs> it's a scenic route for a wheelchair <laughs> well all right it's one of the few bridges caesar doesn't mind 
We'll come back when we get to the lake. It's not, it's only a quarter mile or something. It's not too far. Now maybe this is just me. And maybe this is used in the winter for cross-country skiing for handicap, but it just seems to me that you really don't need the footpath marker, <laughs> trail marker, <laughs> when you have a completely paved, practically, I mean, it's just kind of obvious, don't you think? But here's the lake. This is Sand Lake. It's a beautiful lake. Got some great camping spots right over there that people have used. Got a nice kind of a launch site here. I see nobody on the lake. Nobody near the lake. Now off the side of that little, the end of the wheelchair path is this path, which is a pretty substantial path. Fire here. Oh, this is nice. This is like the perfect skinny dipping spot. Great big rock. Wow. Well, we decided to go skinny dipping. So, Dakota's in the water. Caesar's not sure yet. Caesar, you can get in. He says, but can I get out? <laughs> go on, you're okay. I'll help you out. He doesn't like to swim. He just likes to lay in it. Oh, this rock is so warm. Look at those two sillies. Stay away from me. Get away from me. Ah. Save the camera. I guess we gotta let them have their fun, huh?